Pop Up People was a three month action research project funded by Arts Council England and saw us go off around the country to find out what's been happening in empty shops. The point of the workshops was really to meet pop up people, to meet the people who are doing this. So we met all sorts of people running all sorts of projects through the workshops, and that was everyone from Bedford, Southampton, Margate, Worthing. We looked at Coventry and Leeds and spent some time in Tooting Market as well. What we do at Britbox is um, we are a cafe, um, we are a Skillshare Emporium, we run workshops, um, we take over spaces which are, or rather come into spaces which are underused and upcycle and try to sort of weave art into everyday life. The Big Box is a really good example, it's a, it's a permanent space and we held two events there, afternoon tea in Tooting Market and a screening of a film. Invisible Circus, no dress rehearsal. A lot of the time, a space that nobody else wants is kind of full of history. Um, and I think a lot of creative people like um, mess and dereliction as well. Um, it's inspiring sometimes when you go in and there's something that, that used to be a whole thing and is now partially broken. Um, that can be quite exciting. Like the cathedral that the Invisible Circus use um, it was hugely atmospheric, sort of, because a cathedral is a beautiful atmospheric space, but also it's kind of covered in graffiti and smashed glass and like half broken statues, and that sort of turns it into a different kind of space that you could use as a canvas. Artists are trailblazers, they're kind of pioneers for this stuff, and artists have been doing this for a long time. So we found examples going back to the 1980s of, of artists inhabiting these spaces. What we're seeing now, though, is that the, the commercial sector is following much more strongly. And you look at things like Box Park, which is a, a complete pop-up shopping mall in Shoreditch made out of shipping containers. And we're seeing big brands moving into this now. So people like Kath Kidston, very traditional brands, are running pop-up shops as well. We met somebody who's running an entire farm in an empty shop. Um, farm is a farm and a shop. Um, it's an urban agriculture hub with a cafe workspace where we're growing food indoors, um, right on the high street. The space at the moment is now kind of starting to it's employing people, um, and it's also um, able to kind of take a firm footing and take on a commercial lease. Um, we're going to keep growing farm shop, but also start looking for new sites and, and areas to have a lot of fun in, growing more food elsewhere. We found that pop-up people are truly entrepreneurial. They're interested in community, particularly interested in their local town, their local place, and that's why we saw a lot of the, the good examples of what's happening are happening in smaller towns, Coventry, Bedford. These are smaller places where people feel more connected to their community. They're typically people from a professional background, arts marketing, media, those kind of things they've worked in in the past. And they attack um, empty spaces with a, a whole load of skills that they've brought with them from those jobs. And really a determination that whatever happens, they're going to make the project work. So they'll bring in funding from elsewhere, from outside the area. They'll create networks and partnerships to, to create the projects. But really very driven, entrepreneurial people. Personally, I want a new direction in my life. I've lived in the town a long time and I'm an artist and a designer and I know that there's a lot of people lurking out there whose work doesn't come out. Being here, the aim is to increase the footfall in the market. It's got a very low footfall at the moment. Um, to get the local community using the space, which is a communally shared space. Tooting doesn't have a town centre, which isn't a busy A road, so it's really great to be able to have this central space and invite people down. Pop-ups give you a chance to test an idea, to experiment, to try something new, to, to put a new product range out there, or just to, to test a whole new business. Um, Joe Turner, down in Margate, ran a, a pop-up to see whether a, a vintage clothing shop might actually work in Margate. So he really used it just to test a business idea. There's people all over the place that need space and there's people keeping space empty. So um, it can be a good training ground if you're not earning enough yet from your work to, to rent a shop space and there's loads of empty spaces lying around. That's no reason why you shouldn't be able to access some of that space just because you can't afford a regular rent. Believe it's possible and don't let the barriers of bureaucracy and things like that necessarily stand in your way. We sort of kept plugging away at it and got started to get very positive responses from people we wouldn't expect to get that kind of response from even you know property developers which aren't known to be the most altruistic or uh, you know put that much worth on cultural value and stuff but 
even those guys were sort of opening up to the ideas in this sort of changing marketplace I suppose so I think it's just persistence and belief in what you do and, and you know uh, if you have a dream then go after it and don't don't be put off by some of the blocks that are put in your way by our wonderful society. Pop Up People is a, a PDF. You can download that online and most of the report is in there if you want it. However, there's lots more to it than that. There's a wiki online which has lots of extra content and lots of the stuff we, we found during the research. That's got links to all the newspaper articles, all the books that we used as well. There's a whole load of extra content as well. There's this film, The, the Making of Pop-Up People. But the report's also got its own soundtrack. We commissioned Northbrook College students to, to write a soundtrack to the report. There are badges, there are screen prints, and there are little extra articles written by um, all the people that wanted to contribute as well who've written about their specialism. So there's much more than just the, the main PDF if you want to go hunting. Pop-up people doesn't end with this report. What it's made really obvious to me is that there's a lot of people out there with a lot of skills that, that want to do this. And that actually, if we can harness all those people and get them working together, we can make a real difference to our town centres. So, following on from the report, we're going to start a new network for pop-up people um, to help them share the skills they've got, but also to train up more people in the skills that are needed to save our town centres. Anyone can start a pop-up shop. All you need is, is bloody-mindedness and determination and a, a good idea. Really get out there and do it. The front cover of the report says it all. I walk past your door You're not here anymore And I know that the memory of your glow still lingers on my clothes it still lingers on my clothes and you boarded up your windows and locked and barred your door and now i just a memory of what once Stood here before what once stood here before But empty 